So hi, Microbe uh, Hunter here. Uh, a few days ago, I made a, a review of uh, this uh, microscope here. It's the Swift SW380T. Um, and today in this video, I would like to show you an easy way how you can upgrade this microscope to dark field and also oblique illumination. And for those of you who don't know what dark field and oblique illumination are, um, in case of dark field, what you do is you have to insert a filter like this here into the filter holder of the microscope. And, and then the specimens will appear to be bright on a dark background. And if you decenter this uh, filter, that means if you rotate it out a little bit, then you will get uh, oblique illumination. And in oblique illumination, it will appear like this as if there is light coming from the side. And therefore, it seems to cast a shadow the specimens seem to cast a shadow and therefore they seem to appear three-dimensional in appearance. I sometimes call uh, this uh, the poor man's DIC, differential interference contrast. This is what DIC stands for and it's an extremely expensive uh, technique. Um, but you can imitate this uh, technique by simply using a filter like this. And I have to admit, I'm a little bit surprised that the microscope companies do not already come with uh, these uh, filters because they're so cheap to make. Um, and uh, at the same time, uh, they contribute and they really enhance uh, the things that you can look at so much. But I'm kind of surprised that they don't already come along with that. Instead, many microscopes um, include a so-called a blue filter. Um, here is one. Uh, but I think it's relatively unnecessary in many cases because the blue filter is good only if you have a microscope with a halogen lamp uh, because the halogen lamp co creates too much uh, red light and this can be filtered away um, with a blue filter. But this microscope and many other microscope the microscopes these days, um, they have LEDs anyway, so it's actually quite unnecessary. But a filter like this, uh, they have at least up to now not included. So if you're someone watching from a microscope company, yeah, that's a big, big recommendation that I have. Okay. Um, so make, make those things and include them as well. So if you want to make those filters yourself, um, it's really easy to do. Now I 3D printed these here, but I know that most of you don't have a 3D printer. Um, so, and it's also not necessary. Um, so what I recommend is, is that you are actually using a clear uh, pla plastic. Yeah, from, I don't know, packaging material. And in the center here, you can glue a black uh, piece of paper. And what is important is, um, of course, the outside dimensions. I mean, that's 32 millimeters uh, for this microscope here. Um, you can measure it out yourself using yeah the supplied blue filter that usually comes along. Um, and the inside diameter here, this black disc, that is actually quite important. And, um, and uh, I did a test series, so I tested out, I made several of these uh, filters uh, using my 3D printer um, and then I tested it out and I found that the optimal diameter, at least for this microscope and also for other microscopes with uh, a filter size like this, is the optimal diameter is 15 millimeters. Okay, 15 millimeters. Um, if it's too small, if it's anything smaller, then the background will not be entirely dark. And if it's too big, then you're blocking out too much light and the whole image becomes too dark. Um, yeah, so 15 millimeters seems to be the, 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 su the sweet spot here. Yeah, um, and uh, all you have to do is, is you have to insert this uh, then into the, um, into the microscope filter holder. You have to rotate it in because it's a swing out filter holder in this case. And then you get a dark feel and do not forget to open the condenser aperture diaphragm. It's also very important. If you forget that, it's you're not going to see anything. So you got to open uh, the aperture diaphragm. Um, yeah, and then you have dark field and you rotate it out a little bit um, until you get uh, oblique illumination. Oblique illumination also needs to be mentioned works best with the 40 times objective because uh, with the 10 times and 4 times, you won't be able to see the shadows because of the low magnification. I mean, it also works, but uh, you just won't be able to see the effect uh, as much. Well, the simplest way to make a dark field uh, patch stop filter is simply to cut out some clear plastic, in this case uh, from a plastic packaging material. Diameter is uh, around 32 millimeters. Maybe make it a little bit smaller so that the filter is easier to fit into the filter holder. Um, and then uh, in the middle, I used some uh, tape that I wrapped back on itself. And then the central disc uh, of around 15 millimeters. Now I found out later that maybe um, it's still a little bit small. So maybe 16 to 17, 17 millimeters might actually give a darker background, especially when using the high magnification uh, 40 times objective. I'm removing the blue filter. Um, in case uh, it's in there. I'm, I'm opening the condenser diaphragm all the way um, and uh, I'm also I also make sure that the condenser is all the way up uh, to the top. That's the normal position and then I insert um, the patch stop filter 
Um, yeah, and then that's it. <laughs> that's really it. Uh, we're ready to go. Uh, when you uh, move the filter all the way in, you get dark field um, like this, um, and uh, then uh, you uh, open it uh, only a little bit. That's oblique illumination. Um, so basically, this gives you a slight three dimensional look. Uh, and if you open it all the way, then you have a regular bright field. So you see, uh, you might as well ju just leave the filter in there. Um, yeah, I may I tried this one here as well, and this one gives a slightly bluish background. This looks also quite uh, quite nice, and here these are some uh, diatoms, uh, some marine diatoms, uh, where I'm simply showing you now the different uh, types of uh, yeah, contrasting techniques. Uh, the dust and dirt that you see, that's oblique illumination. The dust and dirt that you see, that's unfortunately part uh, of uh, my camera adapter. So that gives you this slightly three-dimensional look. Um, yeah, so that's oblique illumination, um, and this is dark field with uh, the filter rotated all the way in. You see, it's actually quite easy. You get uh, three different uh, imaging techniques simply by rotating the filter in and out. At low magnification, I'm now using uh, the one with the blue background. You can use nail polish, for example, or some, I don't know, colored pens maybe to make uh, filters like these. I did make uh, another video with some recommendations on how you can make your own filters. Yeah, but you see, it's uh, there are plenty of things that you can um, experiment uh, around with. Yeah, so these are, again, the diatoms, they work quite well. Yeah, and here again at a slightly higher magnification and I'm simply now simply moving the filter in and out and you see how the image uh, can actually change uh, this way. Um, I think it's uh, nice in a very convenient way of increasing the different, uh, yeah, different images that you can get using a microscope. And it's actually really easy to make. Now we're back in bright field. And the camera, of course, also adjusts a little bit the exposure time, so it looks actually a little bit better um, in real when you look really at the image itself. So I think uh, that's uh, enough uh, for today. Again, do leave your comments below. Please do consider subscribing to the channel if you like these type of videos, of course. Um, also, do check out uh, all of the links that I have uh, in the description. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always, and see you around next time.